Hello and welcome to my channel Kodigo Maven. Our today's topic is all about Power Apps Developer Plan. Today we will cover these topics. What is a Power Apps Developer Plan and its features? Then what are the capacity limits of this plan? Then we will discuss subscription expiration details. Then we will see demo how to get or enroll for the developer plan. And lastly, if you are an power platform admin and you don't want the developer environments to be created in your tenant or under your tenant, how to stop that. So let's start. So first point is what is a power apps developer plan? The Power Apps Developer Plan gives you a free development environment to build and test with Power Apps, Power Automate and Microsoft Dataverse. It has few important features. You can create three developer environments under this plan. Then you can create unlimited Power Apps and Power Automate flows per environment. When I say unlimited, there is a catch which I'll disclose later. You can connect to any data source using Power Platform connectors, all standard and premium connectors as for example, all Office 365, Dynamic 365 connectors, Salesforce, D DB2 and many more. Everything is included. You can use all the connectors under this plan. You can create your custom connectors too. Then you can connect to premium services like Azure, SQL, Dropbox, Twitter, etc. Then you can use on-premise gateways also. You can make the on-premise gateway connection. Then you can use a fully managed scalable data platform with Dataverse. You can create um, custom tables, business logic, everything. Fully uh, functional Dataverse you will get. You can add your co-workers as environment maker and admins and can also add them to the database roles so you can work together in a group. Lastly, then put everything you create as a project inside a solution. You can export uh, that solution. But next, we have the capacity limits. Okay. Flow runs per month is 750. So you can create three developer environments, but in total, you can have flow runs per month is equal to 750, not more than that. Then you have database size of 2 GB. If you create one uh, developer environment or three developer environments, all together it's gonna uh, use from this 2 GB only. It is not 2 GB per developer environment. You cannot increase any capacity using add-ons like any add-on plan you cannot implement in this developer plan to increase the capacity. In case you hit any of the capacity limits uh, like flow runs and database size, Microsoft recommends you to buy the power app per user plan. Then the capacity entitlements of this developer environment, whether used or not, don't contribute to your company's overall quota. So your suppose your company is having X GB of uh, quota in terms of the Dataverse database, but your developer plan's quota of 2 GB is independent of it. It is not using any of your company's or, or organization's Dataverse database size. So that's it on the capacity limits. Next we have subscription expiration. You can continue using your Power Apps developer plan for free as long as there is active usage. Your developer environments can be terminated abruptly in case of abuse of the rules. For example, apps created in the developer plan are getting used for production purposes and the capacity limits are exceeded. Then environments created using the Power Apps developer plan 
that has been inactive for the last 90 days from current date will be deleted after notifying the environment owners. Now demo how to enable or get the plan. We have two options for it. First one is via your organization's power platform or D365 or global admin. So right now I am in my Microsoft 365 admin center. You see I have user 1 and user 2 here. Both are unlicensed. No license has been assigned to this users. I am also a global administrator plus power platform administrators. So user 1 wants me to give him or her access or the developer plan access so being an admin how can I give that so this is very simple you can write a PowerShell script for doing this activity in bulk but I'm just showing you for a particular user how can you do this so you click on the three dots you then go to the manage product licenses here you see under the licenses Microsoft Power Apps for Developers. You check it and save changes. That's it. So you see your changes have been saved. Close it and you see user 1 is ha now having Microsoft Power Apps for Developer. So this is the developer plan. So now let me open in pr private browsing. Uh, let me open the power apps maker tool from here email id and see so you will see the default environment of your tenant if you're working in an organization you will see this by default from here i can go to the admin center I don't need a tool right now. I can go to the environments. I can create three developer environments, not more than that. So let's say n and one. You can select your region. You can uh, select your type. Uh, so soon I'll be creating one more video about the uh, types of the environments and when to use what uh, but for now I am creating in this de developer plan environment you can also create production trial and uh, sandbox environment as well but for, uh, only three developer environments you can create so let me create one developer environment so you see the data um, dataverse is already turned on and it is grayed out because it it will uh, use the 2 gb data storage uh, which comes along with the developer plan click on next and save now i'm creating one more developer environment next and save now I'm creating the last one three next save now if I want to create one more developer environment it will give me an error see see you have reached the limit of three developer environments for a user so you cannot uh, create more than three environments per developer plan you can create other environments like productions and box or trial definitely so this is how um, if you are working in an organization or your power platform admin can give you the plan access to the plan and once you get the plan you can uh, create three developer environment and use it for your testing and everything now the second option is is do it by yourself to do that first of all you need a uh, office 365 organization email id so this is very easy to create one 
let me know if you want me to create a video on that so once you have a organization email id with you how can you enable or en enroll for the plan by yourself so i am again uh, in my microsoft 365 admin center and i have user 2 who is unlicensed so first of all organizational email id which ends with on microsoft.com has to be with you okay before doing the steps which i am going to show right now let me open one more private browsing I'll give this URL link on the description below so no need to worry about that once you reach that this page you can click on start free you can then put your user email over here you then start free give your password and that's it here you have your premium developer plan now he is having the developer plan now he can access power automate power bi power pages power virtual agent and admin center and when he goes to the admin centers the everything is similar you can create three developer environments and production environment sandbox environment and how the capacity uh, dataverse everything is getting used to saw it in the last user's creation if you are an admin of the tenant or of an organization from the admin's perspective if you want to prevent users from creating developer environments how can you do that let's see a demo so again I am in the Microsoft 365 admin center and you see user 1 and user 2 both are having developer license right now and earlier it was unlicensed so you can see both have access to the developer plan successfully you can go to all admin centers power apps admin center from here you can go to settings and you see um, developer environment assignments so you simply click on it and it is turned on for everyone right now but you can make it only for specific people similarly the same thing you can do for production environment assignments trial environment assignments and so on so that's it guys i hope you have liked the video if you have liked it please uh, like comment and share uh, this give, gives me motivation to create more videos like this so yeah that's all for today hey, thanks for watching